So in this video I'm going to tell you about um, viruses and how can you clean them out. This method is pretty much unconventional but it will get you through um, any spyware or antivirus out there. There are main two types of viruses. First ones are activated viruses and the other are dormant viruses. What's the difference? Well, activated viruses are the ones which are currently ruining your computer. Okay, They are um, maybe damaging your data and uh, maybe altering your windows functions, doing other problems, maybe even cut up your windows. Well, everything uh, of that sort occurs by activated viruses. Dormant viruses are the viruses which exist in your data and has not yet been executed. Okay, um, These are still dangerous, but not until they are started. And uh, unless you're careful, they will be activated. Um, you're most likely to get hit by exe extensions. I'd say 99% of the time, the cause is an exe file. Um, exes are executables. Um, every setup you see, every file, pretty much everything are exe. HTML, HTML or HTML are the web pages you see on internet. Sometimes they even cause viruses and last fall screensaver. Many people say there are other extensions which can cause that problem, but I don't see. I haven't, I haven't faced any of the extensions besides three beside these three. You need to be careful about EXEs first off. Sec now clearing out viruses. Everybody wants to clear out viruses. Now how can you do it properly? Well, um, all those antiviruses out there like let's say McCafe, AVG, Norton, the, uh, many, uh, what's the difference between them? Well, AVG is free. Okay, well one of its forms is free. Currently I have AVG in my computer. The thing about AVG is it is, uh, at least that's what I think, it's much lighter than others. MIG Cafe is probably, uh, is very secure. I, I must say it is very secure, but the problem with MIG Cafe is that it is really heavy. Okay, I've got a dual core here, but my PC can't handle MIG Cafe. Same goes for Norton. Norton is also heavy. Um, Nord 32, I don't like it. Okay select uh, choose out whatever you like okay now here's a problem with viruses okay once they hit your computer um, they actually you know do a bad damage to your windows now what an antivirus does is it removes every virus out there but all the damage done by the virus is not restored now you need to remember this point virus damage is not restored by an antivirus an antivirus only cleans the virus that means damage won't occur anymore but all the damage done by it before remo uh, getting removed will not be cleared away by the antivirus now here's what you need to do um, if you want to you know get uh, remove bring your windows back to their initial condition I'll really recommend installing a new windows okay I do it every time okay here's what you do you've got a lot of viruses on your PC let's see a hypothetical phenomenon you got a lot of viruses on your computer and you need to remove them here's what you do install a brand new XP Windows XP by formatting C drive now here's an important step format your C drive if you don't format your C drive the viruses will still be there in your C drive first thing format your C drive second step when the Windows gets installed never ever open the drives okay never ever open the drives the problem with drives is that once you double click on any drive it opens or initiates the virus well at least most of the times the reason being that there's a file inside C drive known as autorun.inf maybe another tutorial I'll tell you where it exists but for now I'll just say there's a, uh, a virus leaves a order under INF file along with an EAC so if you don't form with your C drive and you mistakenly double click here it will again initiate the dormant virus which was existing there again your PC run pointless installing Windows so form with your C drive then install Windows once your Windows gets installed get a fresh copy no no okay now here hold hold a second don't delete uh, don't access any drive don't access any CDs don't access any flash drive don't open any drive besides C drive okay that's where your windows install don't access because other drives might have virus uh, on their auto run too so don't open it 
get a fresh antivirus let's say an AVG whatever you like download it uh, I, I'll, I'd really prefer downloading it from internet because when you download it from internet they are clean 101% clean so you'd be more sure that the viruses will eventually get removed once you download AVG run a scan on your computer once all the viruses on your computer gets cleaned now you are sure that there isn't any virus existing in my computer anymore okay now of course this is a bad thing I mean it's really hard so um, you need to prov uh, for prevention I definitely say once there doesn't exist any virus in your computer always keep a, uh, any um, antivirus along with you okay that could be um, AVG or any you like okay always keep a antivirus activated also use a good internet internet explorer now this can be this can play a pivotal role if you don't use internet explorers uh, and if you don't use firefox i'd really recommend switching to firefox or even opera never use internet explorer it has occurred to me it has you know occurred to me twice uh, that i've been hit by a virus due to internet explorer 6 it's not like i'm anti microsoft or anything but it really is not secure second thing whenever you get any form of data from one of your friends or anybody be careful flash drives most of the time contain dormant viruses the ones which aren't activated yet let's say your friend has got an activated virus in his computer and is, you know has ruined his pc so when he attaches any sort of portable device that could be let's say his mobile uh, usb drive portable hard drive anything when he attaches to a, his computer virus automatically transfers itself to the hard disk now when you attach that hard disk to your computer and open it carelessly it will ruin your computer okay if it's exe your pc is gone html rstm anything anything of such sort your pc will be affected other thing gpg images all sorts of images all sorts of songs all sorts of movies they never get affected by any virus so you can pretty much be sure that they, they are not a problem if you know that your f friend's flash drive has a virus and you don't have any antivirus installed and um, let's say the drive is c the best way is you know to prevent is not to double click it but drive that letter in the address bar see and press enter here you go you went inside the drive securely without activating the virus this is also a good method to prevent any viruses now if you've got any questions asked i'll be happy to help you out